everybody, welcome to LT Gaming. My name is Tom, and today we are taking a look at a game I'm very excited about Songs of Conquest. So, first of all, I'm a little uh, sunburned, so apologies for the red glow you may see on your screen. Uh, secondly, this is the game that I've been very excited about. Um, it is by many considered to be like a spiritual successor to Heroes of Might Magic 3, which, if you watch this channel, you know I play quite a lot of. So, I decided to cover it. Um, with their recent uh, early access release, um, I have this is literally I've loaded the game up, I've checked the sound, and now I am jumping in. So I've been very busy lately. So this is really going to be my first impressions. Um, let's just go with a skirmish to see what this is all about. So we have one AI player. Um, we have four different factions, it looks like. So we've got the Air Leon, so remnants of an empire. So we're looking at a knight castle-esque faction here with the Barony of Loth. So this is a declining barony, cultists, scholars. So this is sounding a little bit cool. Uh, bring back, bring back the dead. So this is kind of like maybe an undead type faction or darker faction um, here we go we have signs of hell breath brings terror to all this seems like uh, inferno-esque faction the rana uh, swamp dwellers i instantly am thinking of the fortress here okay so we got those four factions um let's just set them up um have a quick look at what maps. I mean, defeat thy neighbor probably seems like a good one for us to just get acquainted. Now, who shall I play? Um, I'm going to go with the Undead faction, just because I like playing them in Heroes 3. Um, and why not continue uh, that trend onward? Um... We have different heroes here, which they're calling wielders. Um, let's go with Murkoff for that offensive bonus. Looks very nice. And we will start the game. I'm not going to dwell too much on the startup of this. I really just wanted to get in, see what the, the vibes like and the mechanics are like. Here we go. Ooh. All right, this is very heroes-esque. So beautiful kind of... UI, I would say. We have an uh, adventure map, which seems quite similar. Um, let's look. So, movement. Fair enough. Got it. Thank you very much. Let's jump in and have a look at Murkoff. we got the wielder sheet. Artifacts. All right. We have our stats here, uh, skills, which are command and melee. And what troops do I have in this army? Scavenge bones and oath bound. All right. So I'm going to jump in and look at town. Let's go with manage fences. There are no troops to draft right now. Can I like go into a town screen? It's just literally hiring more guys. All right. All right. So the the town seems a little different. It's not like in Heroes where you actually go into the town screen. So I guess I'll take uh, old Murkoff here and begin collecting some resources, um, which I'm quite low on at the moment. So let's grab some wood. Beautiful. A little bit of ore. Never hurt anybody. Oh, so it's like an interactive. Uh, it's not just. Seems like the town will build up around. Which is kind of cool. Um, timber mill. I think I'll start with getting some troops going, if that is possible. Doesn't look like I have the capability yet. I'll go with the stoneworks. 
start building up my resources as quickly as possible. And we'll keep old Merc off. Ooh. We'll go with the Archer's Helmet. And is this equipped? It's all equipped. Perfect. Okay, and it seems like we're out of turns here. But let's have a little glance and see if we can hire someone else. Baron Aldous of Loth. Okay, so I can't, I can't spam uh, the heroes like I would in um, Heroes Three right now. Okay, I think that might be my turn. So far, I'm really liking the, the graphical settings. Um, I'm liking the fact I can zoom in right down and see the kind of hand-drawn pixels it looks like. Let's continue on our adventure with old Murkoff here. 1300 gold. We could use a bit of stone. I think I need that to start building some different things. Water mill. 200 gold around. Beautiful. Offense. I'll take it. So, much like in um, Heroes 3, ooh, we have a group of Arlian troops. Many, few, and few knights. Okay. So... In the preliminary stages, I, I guess the, it's very much all about kind of getting resources in and building up your town. Um, unlike in Heroes 3, I'm not able to kind of spam heroes quickly. Or if I am, I'm not aware of the mechanic yet. Okay, so we have some options of what to build here. Ah, I can kind of, I guess you scale up as you go. Unfortunately, I'm not able to build any troop buildings yet, so I will keep... Did I not build a stoneworks already? I did. Alright, so I'm getting one stone around. This is insufficient for me to build anything this turn. I'd like to... Oh, I can... Nope, nothing. Next turn, I'll be able to build and get some rats going. But for now... I think I will go with the croft. Just up my income. Okay, we'll end our turn there. Now, much like in Heroes, is there a way to... Yes, I can create different groups here. So let's have a little... No, no, no. I do not want to disband this troop. I want to take a little glance at this. Let's see what we have. Let's see scavenge bones. We don't really have... Okay. I can't really discern too much from this. So let's just continue on with our collection. Um, I'll go with the Glimmer Weave, as gold isn't too, um, isn't too bad right now. I think I need to maybe head down here. And I'm out of movement. But is there a way to continue building up my town? Yes, I need to upgrade the excavation. This is stone and wood. That's what I'm going to have to do next. So, right now, I guess I just crack on. And I will upgrade the town. Let's see what this look like. looks like. Cool. So, I get these new build sites for small and medium now. An interesting kind of town mechanic it has. And 
we've leveled up. Our calf is becoming class of my wielder. And at level eight, I choose a power. All right. So Murkoff is leveled up. So this is very similar to Heroes 3. And I get to improve or pick new skills or command. So I think combat training seems like offense would be in Heroes 3. So we'll take that. That's a very powerful skill. And we've leveled again. And I will go with combat training again. As you can never have too much offense in any game. And that will be our turn. But now we have some more build points available. I still can't build the friggin' rat warren. Um... All right, I'll, I'll go with... Hmm. Should probably get some more production going again. Gold seems pretty plentiful, so let's build another stoneworks. So that seems to be the inhibiting resource right now. Let's go have a quick look around here. We got a building overview screen, which is pretty informative. Water mill is claimed. So this is kind of like a mine. Oh, research. Okay, I don't need to build specific research. All right. Okay, so there's a bit of depth to the game here uh, with different research paths you can take. Not quite sure right now what... Uh, I could have just upgraded the bloody stone. All right, that's okay. Two stone mills is better than one. I can always demolish things as well, it looks like. Yeah, perfect. I'll probably have to sh do that shift as we kind of develop. Let's grab some gold. Uh, I'll take the oathbound just because why not? I need troops. A group of Arlian soldiers. All right. Let's just continue to get as many resources as we can. And out of movement. Now, I do have a medium build site. What can we do? Spectre. Looks like a pretty decent troop. We have then the scholars and cultists. And I obviously can't build any of this right now. So what we will do is let's go back to the small one. All I want is to build some basic troops here. But let's maybe upgrade. In fact, I will not build anything this round. All right, old Murkaf is gonna... Let's go with the Glimmer Weave, as gold is not a problem. Seven wood. That is fantastic. Beautiful. I'm liking the map so far. Um, it, whilst it does have similarities to Heroes 3, I wouldn't say it's like... You know, it's not a carbon copy, which was what I was a little bit afraid of. All right, in the town, what can we do? I'm looking to build the crypt. Get two of found around. That seems like a good move to me. Fantastic, reconstructing the crypt next turn. And Oathbound are these kind of dudes here. Right, I won't visit the crypt just yet. Uh, 
continue leveling up old Murkoff, our main dude. And I think guard seems like a bit like, um, can't remember the bloody skill now. Armor in uh, Heroes 3, there we go. Bit of a mind fog there. And meanwhile, we just keep getting new troops. We'll take the Oathbound because I am a bit short on troops, I believe. Plenty of wood. And that is the end of our turn. Now, we have the laboratory available for two toxicologists. These guys are ranged, it looks like. And any good heroes player loves a ranged unit, so I'll grab those. Not sure I'm able to get another wielder yet, no. Need to maybe level up again, I'm unsure right now. We have some troops available for 20. So one cool thing, Heroes 3 is obviously weekly troop productions. This seems to be every day or every round, as they call it. You are producing troops, which is going to make for a bit more of a sometimes a possibly faster paced game. Because you're going to have big uh, armies available a lot quicker. Whereas right now in Heroes 3, unless you're kind of doing certain tactics, um, it takes maybe a few weeks to accumulate a bigger army. Ooh, cultists. All right. I mean, I'll take the troops. I'm all about getting some troops. Okay, doke. I think we're ready for a fight. So... Between 25 and 100. I have no idea what level these troops are, though. So I could just be getting annihilated here, but let's try it. So I can range my troops before entering battle. High ground, so that there's a terrain difference here as well. Deadly range, so that's like half hour full arrows. And of course we have the option to do quick battle, which would seem a little bit silly for me to do on my first battle. Okay. Wow, this is a funky screen. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, this is just a deployment screen. I was a bit worried there. Um, all right. I'm not sure if this was a good idea, but we'll see. Hopefully these enemy troops are not ranged. Battle basics. So like in Heroes, your your wielder is not present, but it's kind of guiding and casting spells. Okay. Tax of opportunity. Okay, that's interesting. This isn't something which was present prior. No. Let's have a quick. Oh, they do have a range troop. That's not good. It seems like I'm out of their range, which is beautiful. Blah, spells. Alright, I'm sure I can figure out spells. Uh, apparently I don't have any. Or I don't have enough essence currently. I need a few more turns to pass. So I'm gonna... Oh. I don't want to move forward because these guys are gonna get in range. But just...
Okay, so how can I, can I defend? Pass? Turn? What's the options here? Right, I just cast a spell on myself, apparently. Okay, so I got some Order, Essence, Destruction, and Arcana. Alright, I'm gonna have to close this gap as soon as possible. Click end turn. And these guys have. Okie doke. Am I able to cast anything yet? Nothing. Explosive fungi. Alright, I know. I haven't gathered enough essence yet. There's no weight option like in Heroes, so I will pass, unless I just do this again, so it can seemingly stack, oh wow, they can fire, I didn't think they'd be able to move and fire, but let us attack And I want to move to here. And attack down. Beautiful. Check this out. So I got a bonus for being on the high ground, it looks like. I'm looking for, like, is there a log? Maybe not. Um, let's try to maybe flank these guys. Fantastic. These guys are legging it. They're trying to get out of here. Let's keep the old momentum going. They're going to fire at me. Wow. They did a lot of damage. But my power stack, which is these undead troopies, whatever they were called, scattered corpses. That is what we are all about. And I'm able to gather some troops. So maybe can I exchange these guys out and these guys in? I am. So I'll get rid of the cultists because they're not with the kind of undead and I can kind of build this stack up like a skeleton stack. Let's hope I'm out of movement for the turn. But that was my first battle. I'm quite enthused by that. Enjoyed the combat. Whilst the same in some ways, there was a little bit of difference as well. Okay, I think that will be my turn. And I now have this uh, laboratory which makes ranged troops. Which is always a bonus. Spike boots. And we have a creation spire. This is giving one creation a turn. Not quite sure what creation is. Doesn't seem like I'm able to do any research as of yet. All right, let's just continue to gather my resources. Let's do it. And Markaf has leveled up again. All right, we will do the command. So I think I need another slot now for my range troops. Let's head back. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's a way through here. So I will head and up some ranged troops. Ah, so the hostiles are growing, so they're getting stronger each time, so I have to be wary of this. I think the next move I have to do is level up my excavation site. Level up my 
Is it called an excavation? Looks like my town is called an excavation. So, let us head here and buy five. Guess troop positioning in this sense is not going to count as much as I am. Okay, toxicologist, if you. Yeah, this looks good. We'll go with this. First range troop. Let's see how this goes. I'm really liking the graphics of this game thus far. Um, Alright, remember this guy can move and shoot, so I need to remember to... I think I'll... In fact, they all ranged. Holy shit, that's not good. Cover? It may do. Oh, crap, that hurt. I'm gonna dash across the open field. Outside range, that's beautiful. Just getting destroyed by these dudes. They are munting up my uh, range guys. Looks like I may lose them this round. We have closed the distance successfully. Okay, this move and shoot is uh, a new mechanic to get used to. A little bit disconcerting. These guys are definitely my MVPs right now. Wow, lost all those troops. That's no good. But as long as I have my men, I think we're all good. 35. Packing them down. Another victory in the books. Not the best uh, engage. But I am enjoying the combat style. Uh, yeah, we'll just mass move them up. Plenty of stone to fuel further production. And a cairn of power, pile of stones. And we are going to upgrade to the next level of town. And these are obviously going to be my higher level troops, legions. They look good to me. Okay, so the Aurelian Sanctum is going to open up. Aurelian Scholars. Which is a more powerful range troop it looks like but what i want is the necromancer let's be real every good undead troop wants to have some necromancers at their disposal so is there a way in which to upgrade okay i would need a timber mill Okay, I can do some research, it looks like. But I think I need the corresponding building, oops, the daisy, which is the Library of Aurelia. Alright, 
I'm gonna build this. I think it looks good. I'm gonna do multiple buildings. This might be a interesting. Looks like it might be possible. Um, maybe getting better ospound going would be a good idea. But what I will do is hire another wielder. Reason being, we want. Looks good to start shuttling. Gonna draft troops. Manage defenses. Place a wielder inside the building to strengthen the defenses. All right. Okay, managing defense. Okay, so it looks like they've added some veneers of what you can do here. We're going to move all our troops up to our wielder. And we're going to then coordinate. Here is three style. Fantastic to here and then switch wielder to hopefully transfer these troops over. Move all. Okay, seems like there's wait, this doesn't make sense. Okay, do I want multiple stacks of these dudes then? I'll, I'll take the toxicologists over the cultists, maybe. And just build up another stack of Oathbound, I guess. Maybe seems like a, a winner. Let's let's see if this works. Switch back to this dude. Alright, so we're going to want our toxicologists probably near enough to the front. And we're going to get our oath bound able to just dash forward. Let's see how this battle goes. I have no idea who I'm fighting. They have a lot more initiative than me, it looks like. But they are taking damage, just like anybody else. Unable to... Uh, Beat my dudes. Oh, look at that shot. We want to do the old choppy chop here. And uh, if I use these guys correctly, I won't be able to be attacked on this one. Starting to get a little bit more into the combat now. The terrain does add an interesting element uh, compared to Heroes 3. And this time we only lost one troop. I would call that a result. And the lookout tower allows us to probably glimpse our enemy. This lands a little bit. And old Carl will do some collecting as my secondary dude. Okie doke. So, what is the plan? We want to try and get some higher tier troops. And I think upgrading the laboratory to get toxicologists would be ideal. Not entirely certain on the old research yet. But it uh, looks like I have to build some buildings before I can do any of that. Let's see how this is going. We did get the Aurelian Sanctum, which, to my knowledge, should open up some form of research. I 
I'm still missing the building, apparently. But I am generating two cultists around right now. So I draft all the troops. We are going to have two toxicologists. And we'll get to Oathbound as well. And then from here, I want to do, I think is it managed defense. Got the old dude here. Can I move him into the town? How did I do this before? Okay. Not, not too, um, too up on everything as of yet. But I think I can take out these guys up here now. With my main army. Defense, there we go. All over the bloody place with this. So let's switch these guys out and just give some risen to them. And we're gonna end our turn there. And obviously the plan is for old Murkoff to smash these guys here. Whilst uh let's skip the Yep, we want all the troops there. Can I just easily click these over? Apparently not. I'm building our second stack of Oathbound there. And into battle we go once again. Alright, let's just go with this. See what we're up against. Oh, wow. I don't know. Don't feel so confident about this battle. Let's defend. <laughs> Oh, we got attack of opportunity. I forgot about that. There we go. Now, this feels like here is three. Turtling up in the corner. Getting those huge stacks to drop your kills. All right, did we get enough for any spells? We did. All right. I want to try, what do we have, any offensive spells? Maybe not. End our turn there. Our MVP Oathbound are really winning this for us. Let's go with an offensive spell. And advance attack that is a victory not as clean as i would have liked a few troops lost but we didn't lose any range troops. okie doke we'll go with positioning to reduce the range damage we take meanwhile let's amalgamate our stacks Proceed on with looting. Can I fight these guys? I mean, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, I got the high ground with my toxicologist, so I'll, I'll stick with that. Entirely sure what's going on here, but I think these guys are probably a threat. Uh, 
so we just want to take some defensive positions. Wow. Toxicologist is taking a beating. And they are now actually dead. The Oathbound are going to have to carry me on this one. And I just need to make sure that I lose all my troops. We won, albeit at uh, quite a cost. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just... Oh, I didn't get those troops, but they're kind of terrible anyway, so it's okay. Uh, we'll take the cultists, of course. Troops are what we want. And we're going to get ready to grab some more loot up here. Meanwhile, uh, oh, Coral, Lightbringer. Really? Lightbringer with that face? Um, we're going to head back here. We will buy up these stacks. And make sure we transfer them over. Not sure there's a whole bunch for me to do here. <clears throat> I do need a timber mill, apparently. Um, what do I have? I've got stoneworks, crypt. I think I can demolish one of the stoneworks because this seems a bit redundant. Uh, I need this for upgrading these dudes. And is there much point in building these walls? Probably not, but I want to see what they look like anyway. And that looks pretty damn cool. I'm liking that this has an impact on the map. Fantastic. All right, Mr. Uh, what's his face? Lightbringer. You are going to be managing the defense and taking all these troops with you. Let's get you moving toward our main man. Murkoff. Okay, the looting is going well. Um, take the earthbound though. So far, so good. Troops are getting stronger and stronger, so I've got to be wary of that. Uh, we'll do the old trading over. Oh, wow. Okay, so the army is considerable now, but we'll go with a second stack of oath found because they're quite numerous and plentiful. Oh. Just make sure we collect what we can with secondary hero whilst Murkoff is only concerned with getting stronger alrighty looting is going well and I would assume our enemy is somewhere down here Definitely not too close to getting uh, the higher tier troops. Alright. We 
now have the timber mill, but we do not have the vein, the celestial ore. Okie doke. And we still need some of these buildings in order to get researching, which is the library here and this one as well. Alright, and there ends the turn. Great optimism. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so Murkoff. Let's advance down here. I mean, so far, it has... I, I, I like the game. Um, it doesn't quite have the same vibe as Heroes, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Um, I would hate to just play a poor imitation or clone of Heroes. What do you reckon? I can take these guys. Let's do it. Uh, I don't have a strong vibe of what are good tactics as of yet. Or what even tactics are in this game. But it does seem like it is. There are some, quite a few differences between uh, what we used to. Cultists. We will just end that turn. End the turn. How strong are these guys? We'll see now. Wow, very strong. Well, the strongest my oathbound stack. Here we go. I may have made a huge mistake in uh, this combat, so we'll have to see. Uh, I will take the high ground here. Go with this old shot here. Cool. It's a painful one. No, toxicologist. It seems like they have uh, changed some tactics as well, which prevents... Um... Everyone knows, like, here is three, you can, like, create loads of one stacks, which will really help you clog up the battlefield um, and the fact that's not necessarily available here is not a bad thing now maybe I'm just missing a trick but it seems uh, the combat has changed quite significantly uh, more of a tactical vibe to it than a tactical RPG vibe Whoa, that was a lot of troops I lost And I would say range stacks currently that I've seen don't seem as powerful, um, which I, I do think is a good thing as well. Can I get another wielder? I cannot. I would have to upgrade again. Um, like, we play here as three games and, you know, first turn you have sometimes eight heroes out already. This seems a bit of a slower paced game um, than that. Now, maybe as people discover of tactics and things like that, that's going to change quite dramatically. But. Ooh, rats. You know what? I will take 100 rats. That, that seems good to me. Alright, some of the buildings lean too. They're exactly the same. Um, you know, so far, I am liking the look of this game. It has enough distinctive flavor on its own uh, to be engaging and not be, you know, a direct comparison to Heroes 3, which I 
think would have been uh, tough on the game. If it just tried to kind of emulate what Heroes 3 had done. All right, Mr. Lightbringer, worst name ever for this guy, is going to head back on his mission to resupply Murkath, who is our main dude. is a gold hungry man. Alrighty, let's go with the glimmer weave as that seems a bit more scarce. As usual, let's go with the troops. A gathering barony of loth troops. I'm not quite sure what to make of that. Adam moves here. I mean, I don't see me get me any uh, construction going anytime soon. This celestial ore is really creating a bit of a backlog. Oh, I saw a troop. All right, Murkoff, it's your time to shine, my friend. There he is, or there she is, Celia Stoutheart. Bring it on. All right. I'm obviously all about the, the rush here. The fact you can't cast spells uh, straight away, maybe you can with certain skills and stuff, but it definitely makes for an interesting um, change in dynamics. Because, you know, if you have mass slow or something at the start of a match in Heroes 3, it also makes a really powerful difference. But here it seems like I'm having to accumulate uh, the essence in order to get that same ability. This looks like a tough combat. I'll go with the, the buff. sort of haste spell here. Rather unfortunate, but our rats will search forward. And we will engage here. Wow, that was horrific. Not entirely certain what is happening now, but I do know it's looking a little bit dire straits. Um, surely I have enough to get some damage down. Let's go here. It's a touch and go, but I think I got it. Range. Man, the hundred rats are really carrying me here. I have any sort of haste spell. Insect swarm, let's do it. Hopefully that yes, that's what we wanted. Man, the rats are carrying me. Cecilia Stoutheart is no more. Spoils of War. Fantastic. Mass move. Let's take them. We will go with the Power Brutal. 
Now, let's double check because I think I must have more. Yeah, I do have more equipment then. This is eight defenses, four defense, so the hood makes sense. Okay, I think these are actually working here, so it's just the helmet we switched out. Beautiful. Okay. I think I should push my uh, advantage now. We have old Lightbringer, old face ache coming down, Carl. Lightbringer, uh, reduce resupply. But let's have a quick look if I can build anything. We still are lacking the Celestial Ore. So I actually can't do much. We'll end it there. Cool, that's always nice to have. Uh, Celestial Lightbringer is going to get to here. Celestial Lightbringer. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Coral Lightbringer is going to come to here. Source of power. Start hitting their resources where it hurts. And I think we see the outskirts of a town. So we're getting into pillage mode here in rank 20. Now, hopefully that was their main army and this isn't going to be like a uh, annihilation of me now as I'm super overextended. I'm thinking I do the upgrade excavation though because I don't know about you guys, but those rats were amazing. The medium site. Can we. Ooh, specters. Ooh, no research. I really need to get some research going. Uh, nah, he's running. He's engaging me. This is obviously not going to go well for me. I believe I'm very overextended. What are we looking at here? I don't think they can hit me. I'll get to the high ground here. Oh, whoops. What did I do? That's not good. Neither is that. This is hurting. Getting the momentum on my side. Could I win this? They're, they seem trying to kite me, it looks like. The rats are carrying hard. Do I have a spell to close this gap? I do. get the victory. I actually thought I was going to lose that quite hard. As they had chosen to engage me. I figured the AI thought they had it in the back. Alright. Murkath is leveling up. All right, I'll go with this impressive. I'm not quite sure if that was a great move, but We have old Coral. She is quite close. I think it's a she at least. Hard to tell with her. Ugly face. 
but I think that may have been... Let's withdraw. Blow up their time. Wow. Murkoth is the man right now. Movement. That's what we want. We will wait for Carl next turn. And she shall uh, give me the troops I need. All right. Not quite certain what they're... They are not engaging me. So let's get Carl as close as possible. And Murkoff can hook up with Carl. <laughs> In the, the worst way, the best way possible. Um, Alright. I feel like this is a good army again. Now let's clean up these troops. Didn't really look at the deployment too hard. Alright, I will end that. Cast. Three outside range, outside. No brainer there. Bit of momentum on my side. But I will actually withdraw. Those goddamn. Entirely oh. certain what happened there. Wow, I'm taking some losses. Though. That's not as easy a fight as I would have hoped. Um, hmm. Outside range, really? Yeah, how bad's my range? Basically, I have no range. Good to know. We're going for the old caster Rooney, and we want movement. Close this gap. Another W in the back. Mass move them up. Now, do, 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 I guess we take out Cecilia again. <laughs> Here we go. Man, these guys love their ranged troops, don't they? Um, that range is ludicrous. Poor rats are getting low. I'm getting a bit nervous. It's the worst range unit in the world. The toxicologist gets their first kill. All right, these guys are just gonna try and kite us in the corner, which is not fun. Ugh.
Oh, my poor rats. Yeah. All right, we took out another army, possibly their last. The only thing I'm worried about now is have I lost all my bloody troops? Dirty rats gone. We will advance slowly up. Um, what I'm going to look for is... Where's the rat den? Was there. Maybe I can head back up and... No. Is this just over? Is there no defenders? Maybe. Let's try. Maybe Murkath is strong enough to uh, win this for us. Uh, let's just go up there. Oh dear. Yeah, it's not as bad as I would have feared. We had broken the crux of their army, crux of their army, the brunt of their army. I think this may be all she wrote for our opponents. Victory. All right. Is that a victory in the game? I would assume so. Oh, wow. Okay, so I have to occupy. Excuse me. All right, let, let's occupy then. This is cool. Because sometimes in Heroes, you take a town knowing you're going to lose it shortly after. Wow, I have won my first game of Songs of Conquest. It was touch and go. Uh, they did apparently outstrip me in army. Probably because I wasn't too used to what I was doing, but numerous battles. I have to say the MVP was the rats. Uh, saw me through to victory. Uh, but wow, they really outstripped me for a while. So, what do I think of the game? Um, I would say my first impressions of the game are that it is obviously bearing a lot of similarities to Heroes 3, but there is a distinctive enough flavour that I would say it's a game to be judged in its own right. Um, I like it. I mean, I'm definitely be playing more of it, taking a look at some of the campaigns. I would assume my first playthrough was awful, much like I had when I started Heroes. Um, is it going to supplant Heroes 3 for me? Not yet. Um, but with a new game, there will be new developments, new uh, mechanics to kind of pay attention to. Um, and already things like the terrain being high and uh, attacks of opportunity, I do see that this could be um, a cool way to develop the combat style of these games. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if um, you guys have any comments or questions, please just put them uh, below and I will get back to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.